Now, bent on revenge and armed with an assault rifle, a doctor opens fire inside a New York medical center. I just basically, I panicked. Tonight, one person is dead and several others hurt in this hospital shooting. And the doctor had lost his job at the hospital two years ago. Today he went back wearing a white lab coat to hide his weapon. CBS News correspondent Meg Oliver is live at the Bronx with the latest developments. Meg. Rick and Ruta Bay, witnesses say it was a terrifying scene inside the hospital. We're told the shooter, Dr. Henry Bello, used to work here but left after harassing an employee. He returned today and opened fire on seven people, killing one doctor. Police say a gunman entered New York City's Bronx Lebanon Hospital Friday afternoon armed with an assault rifle and began shooting. They're calling an active shooter at this time. Units, be advised, confirm shots fired. One doctor is dead, and there are several doctors who are fighting for their lives right now. Police say the gunman identified as Dr. Henry Bello, a former employee, hid the assault rifle in his lab coat before opening fire on the hospital's 16th and 17th floors just before 3 p.m. Gonzalo Carrasso was working on the 12th floor. All I heard was the doctor saying, help, help, and then that's when I saw police came and everybody, everybody just went to the room. I just went to a room and I locked myself in the room. This man said his fiance called him while the shooter was active. First thing I told her is just get off the phone, don't talk too loud, stay low, and stay where you at. Officers immediately put the hospital on lockdown while they searched for the gunman floor by floor. The whole episode was over in less than an hour. During the incident, the hospital's fire alarm system activated, apparently due to the suspect's attempt to set himself on fire. Police say Bello, described as a family medicine physician, then shot himself to death. The 1,000-bed hospital has one of the busiest emergency rooms in the city. It's located about a mile north of Yankee Stadium. A surgeon from the hospital told the Associated Press that all six victims are in critical condition, but they are expected to survive. Rick and Rudabay. Meg Oliver in New York City. Meg, thank you.